you should read Beta Ray Bill, Agent Star by Daniel Warren Johnson. What is up? I am the G.I. Joel, and I love comic books so much that I left a full-time job to pursue my dream of owning my own comic book shop and making comic book content full-time. If you love comic books and all things nerdy, be sure to subscribe and join the G.I. Joel Nation. In this episode of You Should Read This, we're going to be talking about Beta Ray Bill, Agent Star, one of the newer graphic novels and series coming out of the King in Black event over at Marvel. But let's go ahead and get into the synopsis of this incredible must read. Bill has recently lost Stormbreaker in a disagreement with Thor, and with it his ability to use Odin's enchantment to return him to his humanoid form. Bill and Thor were able to make amends, and Thor asked Bill to become the War Master of Asgard, and to be its primary protector, to which he agreed. And since returning, Bill has rekindled his romance with Lady Sif. After an attack from the dragon Fin Fang Foom, who was under the control of Null, the King in Black, Bill was unable to protect Asgard alone. Thankfully, Thor arrived and was able to stop the dragon. Later, after leaving the celebration of Thor's victory, Bill is unable to have a romantic encounter with Lady Sif, because he is unable to return to his human form. Sick of being stuck in his monstrous form, and sick of living in Thor's shadow, all while trapped in Asgard, constantly forced to relive his own failures. Beta Ray sets out to find Odin to ask him to craft him a new weapon so he can be beautiful once again. And that covers the first issue of this epic journey following one of my personal favorite Asgardians, Beta Ray Bill. The story is written and illustrated by one of my favorite artists once again, and creators, Daniel Warren Johnson. Johnson's stories are known for having a deep emotional themes and a ton of heart, and Beta Ray Bill, Agent Star, is no exception. Bill feels like a monster because his people, the Corbinites, quite literally turned him into one in order to protect them, which is a subplot to this series showing Bill's selection and transformation by Corbinite scientists. But mainly due to his appearance and feeling like a second hand-me-down brother to Thor, Bill sets out to discover who he truly is on his own, out from behind Thor's shadow. Bill is constantly reminded of his failures while living on Asgard, Asgard, constantly unable to celebrate his own victories in the shadow of the king of Asgard, Thor, and sets out to make himself beautiful once again. This story does a great job of exploring Bill's character, as well as his sentient ship, Scuttlebutt, in a really heartfelt and passionate way. Johnson's art is some of my favorite in comics, and while at first glance it may seem rough and unrefined, it really does have a lot of beauty and a lot of detail when you give it closer examination, and I think that his less attractive style, for lack of better words, really fits perfectly with the themes and narrative of Beta Ray Bill's story. Overall, this is a fantastic read. If you want to get to know Beta Ray Bill, if you aren't familiar with who he is in the comics, I definitely recommend checking this out because it will give you both a good overview of his origin as well as an exploration as to who his character is, what motivates him, what drives him, and kind of where he stands in the pantheon of Asgard. But don't forget, G.I. Joel Nation, to be sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you don't miss out on any more nerdy content.